Hi, we're going to show you how to make a basket to go from these, which we found on campus, to this. Okay, to start with, all you need is some thread. It's um, a waxed thread so that it won't cut through your pine needles. And some pine needles, and believe it or not, they're not all treated equal. You need to find the longest ones you can. Makes it more fun to work with them. Any kind of needle, I like the little plastic one, but you can use any, and some scissors. So you just have to take the ends of the pine, of the thing off, and to make it really easy, you can just go like this. I sometimes like to peel it, because it makes it a little longer, but you get those so that you have a stack of them that are all like this. Then you have to soak them for, for about 12 to 24 hours. It doesn't, it, it, just so that they're pliable, they have to be soft so that they can bend without breaking. Um, and then from there you get your, you have your soaked pine needles and you get um, a bunch of them. Depending on how big you want each layer, I like to use about that many. It's about eight of them. And then from there, take your thread. So you just get your knot on the end. It's really any knot that will hold. It doesn't have to be rocket science. Although it's kind of tedious. It's easier with a crochet hook. Whatever tail you leave, you have to kind of crochet, I mean, pull in. Okay, so you've got that. And then you just go. Take your thread over and pull it right through. And bump it up right next to your other knot. Pull it over and through. So I'm just going to cut these off at the end so that they're all the same. And so if you want to start turning, you just leave it out away from the other knots. And once you get it turned, you go underneath the other row and wrap it all the way across. And then you go through right the center behind the knot. Just pull it behind and wrap it over, over and through.
starting. And then, you know, it's just always that stitch going around mm -hmm. and through. Pull it down, and I'm gonna go. And when you come back up, which where do you come? Okay, so you go. Well, you can go just through anywhere. Or? Well, you go through the net, just the very next layer. So I don't go through the whole basket. I just go through one layer, and then you're gonna go up. I'm doing it wrong. And then you go behind the stitch so it keeps the thread there. And then just over and through. No, you don't get it. There's really. And then you can start to separate them a little. Just go through the second one. Over behind the behind the stitch. Okay. And then you just do another one over. And you just kind of bend it. And it whoops over and so you go over and through. And then through your through one layer. Over and behind that stitch just through that first layer, you know, the first row. I can get it through, I'm doing a good job pulling it tight. So it's behind the stitch to keep it there. And that's when you just do another one over and through. Pull it down. Here you go behind. That bottom one. Okay. So Over so the top. You're, you're you're taking this first um, group in the circle and connecting it to the second, yep. and then connect and circling again the first one. Yeah, and then I just go behind that stitch and then go okay. back. And pull it over. And yeah, I'm just I just go to the net, just connect that bottom, go over the top, and then just back behind behind the stitch. And you just pull it back like that, and do another one. Yep, that's all it is. And then I, and then as you get further along. I'll show you one more step to add pine needles. Okay. So then you want to just take a soft pine needle and you just basically just stick it in between. And then as you go around, it becomes part of the basket. That's it. And how often do you add them? You start to do it every time. 